Okay, this is going to be the second part of the Nick Cannon thing I said I was going to make. I was debating should I make it, but I talk, it was so, like, I didn't all the way say everything I needed to say to make everybody understand what where I was coming from, from both sides. So I wanted to go a little bit deeper, but I didn't want to make no 20-minute video because who want to really watch a 20-minute video of me talking? I'm just a guy in a car, but um, all right. So here's my thoughts to make it, like, quick. You got to respect authority somehow, right? Even though you might not like your boss and you don't like her lifestyle and his lifestyle, you still need to res you still can't go on Facebook, man. Like this person sucks, her family sucks. They go on the beach all the time. Who do you think they are? Like do you think you're going to get fired for that or you think there's going to be no repercussions for that? Something going to happen. I'm just saying you have to re you can't go against the man all the time. You can't, cause that's not, that's not, it's, it's, it, it's not gonna work in your favor. It's not, it's, it's not gonna help you out. You're not going to win. Nine times out of ten, you're not gonna listen. I hate to say, you nine times out of ten, you're not gonna win with somebody who got way more money than you, cause they can do more things than you. They got more avenues they can go down. You can't. You, you're limited. And I'm not saying you as you watching this. I'm saying if you got, if you, if you, if you going to get a person with a a million dollars and you got a thousand dollars it can get better lawyers better security man better detectives to detect what you doing better people like you have no there is no way you can compete with that so i say all to say i say all that to say this jewish people and obviously i'm not a jewish person so you know i really mean this when i say it because i'm by saying this i am lowering who my race a little bit, which is weird, but Jewish people are the most powerful race in the world. Nobody, nobody's on a level of a Jewish person as far as power, money. No, we can't, we can't touch them. And the most powerful thing on this earth, religion and politics, and they run all of it. You can do nothing without a Jewish person's approval. You just don't know it. I'm going to tell y'all something y'all never thought about. I'm going to name you three things that we all can equate that we know each other to like have some type of like feel for that can like connect us. Sports. Name me some top Jewish athletes right now. I'll wait. Name me some top Jewish athletes in the last 20, 50 years. I mean, of course it's some, but name me, name me, name me something that you can really resonate with. Okay, all right. Now, if you notice, it's like silence. But here's the kicker, though: baseball, football, basketball. Who are they? Who are the commissions right now? Jewish people, and it's been like that forever. Check it out: all three major markets of all sports, all Jewish people. And you know it's one Jewish person after another, after another, after another. How do they get these positions? Not how do they get the positions? Who are where they where they come from? How does Jewish people equate with sports and just so happen to take over as commissioners for all these sports for decades? And you never know them until they come commissioner. Or, or owner and all these billion listen to me and when they come commissioner you gotta remember it's owners of these sports right got billions of dollars billions of dollars and guess what those owners those people man, they got the biggest egos you ever can you ever can think about you can't tell them that nothing right but they all got a one boss and they all got listen and adhere to one boss that commissioner is jewish and they don't care about none of that and they better yes sir, hi sir, him or her. Period. Y'all, see, one thing I give the Jewish people that, you know, like, y'all, a lot of people we don't recognize because so we so caught up in our world. They're very, they're kind of like, I don't want to say fake minus because that's what it really is. But they, they, it's an illusion when it comes to Jewish people. Because you and me, right? Let me let me give you a prime example of a person. If you see a person 
with like longer hair, longer beard, glasses, not dressed, no designer. You don't think, you know, he's not a threat to you, right? He's not a threat to try to talk to your girl. He's not a threat to make her like him or, you know, or you feel inadequate because he got a better car than you or he looks better to you or her, right? So you feel at ease with him, huh? No threats, no competition. You don't got to watch him. You ain't got to do nothing to make yourself feel better around him because you better, you know what I'm saying? You're a swag different, right? That's what they want you to think. See, they uniform with how they are and how they act, and how they dress. You see 10 Jewish people, they all got white long sleeves, buttoned up. A hat, a yarmulke. Well, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what they wear. Okay, I don't know if it's a yarmulke or a. I ain't with that. I said hat. I don't know. Sometimes they're not wearing a hat. Okay, don't kill me. And they got black pants on. And they got shoes on. Not no tennis shoes. Not no Jordans. Just your shoes. And there's ten of them look like that. And the girls wearing dresses, black dresses or whatever they want to wear that day. It's no egos. It's all one. So you look at those people like, huh, they're just, you know, they just, they like to not make money. They're just cool. It's something deeper to that. See, when you think, when you see them like that, you forget about everything else they can do. You're not, you're not, you're not, you, you, you're not basing their, I guess, you're not basing how much power they have. You're not basing about counting them out because then you, you feel like they're not in a race with you you see what i'm saying and that's what they want you to think nah, n n nothing to see here nothing to see here meanwhile like mechanic didn't know behind the scenes that that's the person who writes your checks one person can't beat 10 people when it comes to money that's been passed down one person in their community they come, they come to the community, they bring their family, everybody builds them a house. Here, this is what you do, you do this and you do that. We'll take care of it, we'll build your house, don't worry about the money. We'll make the money back, don't worry about it. We need you to be on a team, we need you to support us. We need you to do what we ask you to do. So they move together. And one thing about Jewish people, if you don't move together with their community, you're shunned. Period. They don't have those things. You 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 are never as as rich as as rich as anybody Jay Z or anybody. You will never get into their circle like that. You never know who's behind the scenes because that's how they want you to be. They they're quiet people. They move in silence. Nobody knows who these people are. Nobody knows who's rich Jewish people are. It could be the the person you live down the street from you in a regular house. Be the richest Jewish you ever know, Jewish person you ever know. I, I don't, I'm not saying Jew. I say Jewish person. So that's a lesson for all of us. Let's just go ahead and say it. You cannot, you cannot ever go against a Jewish person like that. You can never talk down on them. Not because you were scared of them or we feel like threatened by them. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with. You don't know your you don't know your opponent. You don't know where that person's coming from. You don't know what they're capable of. They gangsters too. Jewish people, you might think they're just they're not just ungodly. It's a godly side to them, and it's a human side to them. No person is just good. To be human, to is to be a God fearing person, a lovable person, and you can be a killer. It don't make a difference. They, you can't just look at them like that. Like, so make sure you learn a lesson from Nick Cannon, because you need, like I say, don't count nobody out. It's people in my Facebook timeline, people I'm friends with. I don't even know them right now. I don't even know half the people in my Facebook, right? But I see a lot of them, and I, the stuff they post, and I truly believe that a lot of them are so talented. A lot of them speaks very, speak very well. Like a lot of them. I saw a woman, right? She never post anything like um, sexual or anything like that. She just posts like her and her kids and stuff like that. And like uh, she she owns a little cleaning business, right? I saw and mostly like 
I like to, I, I see people likes and stuff. I ain't gonna act like I don't look at your likes. I look at your likes too. I don't get a lot of likes, but that's okay. I'm, I'm one day I will. But I saw her likes go from like ten, usually twenty. She posted a picture of like um her like face and like she was wearing a nice sports bra, and it has not. I don't know. I guess it's a regular bra. It has nothing to do with like sexual. I think she just wanted to feel good about herself and like you know show she's a woman, and she got like four hundred likes, right? So, but I say that to this. I say that to say this. Watch what you say. Because one day she could be a famous person. Anybody in my timeline right now, you watching this right now, you can be someone that you never thought you can be. Like that. You feel me though? So, watch what you say now. Don't go back delete. You had to delete tweets and delete stuff you wrote. Be careful because it can be you. And then you say something crazy, like you say something racist, or you say something bad, and now we done put up your old stuff, and now it's like, oh man, we try to make you rich and make you famous, and now you talking about you don't like this religious group, you don't like black people, you don't like white people, saying crazy stuff. Why, what you say is important, because I say, you don't know who the power is, and you don't know who can cancel you. Nick Cannon's worth like sixty million dollars. They don't care about none of that. They cut they, that show is making money, making millions of dollars. You notice they don't care about that. They don't care about the money. They care. Jewish people care about pride. They care about their respect. They care about how they're viewed, and they care about. Shh, you keep their name out your mouth, because Jewish people will help you out. Jewish people will take care of you, even outside your race. You may not be able to come inside their race, but I say something about Jewish people. They will look out for you. They will make you rich if you just follow certain things. You ain't got to be the most, you ain't got to be godly and all going to the church every Sunday because I see where they let um, rappers come and do, you know, their little bar mitzvahs. It ain't about that. It's about respect is so highly valued by them. You have to adhere to that. So that's why I say it's very important for everybody. I know I got off subject with this kind of thing, but I think it's more important for this subject. Because it's the last time I'm speaking about Nick Cannon. Watch what you say on these things now, because you never know what you can be. You never know who you're going to be in a couple of days, a couple of minutes, a couple of hours, a couple of years. So take that with you. Don't say that stuff. If you think, even, even if you think that stuff, share it amongst your friends. Don't. Put it on the internet. Don't say it out loud. There are consequences to things you say. And yes, some people can get away with stuff like 50 Cent. I don't know how he gets away with things he says, but he can do it. But you can't. You may not be able to. You you can't. There's no way to know who, who's can do what. Ain't nobody. Don't nobody know. So be careful now. Because it could be you one day. It could be me one day. So... All right, so that's why you do not speak about Jewish people. I don't care who you talk about. Do not speak about Jewish people in any negative light because you don't know them, and you're never going to know them, and that should scare you.